so this, uh, I'm opening it back up again because what I did last time, as you could see, um, I tried to fix this LCD screen and I think it's still pretty good. There's no play in here. And, but the problem of the pixels not showing up clearly is persistent. So I have to get to the back of this somewhere here. And for me to do that, I need to, um, I need to open it up again from the back. So I'm starting to drill. Okay, so the only way to uh, get there, I'm going to try to remove, so these things here, you have to remove these. And these are obviously, uh, they're sort of rivets that, that hold this together. So what I'm going to do is going to try to lift it off because as you can see here, I tried to drill this. And when I drilled this, I was able to move this out. So this can, could come out. So let me try to do the same thing here. Wait, so let's try this. I have a five, six, uh, let me see, this one is a three, 16, well, actually this one is a, yeah, three sixteen, I believe. Uh, no, five, 532, this is a 532. Be very careful when you do that. And once you do that, you don't need to go very deep. So one more here. And you're doing this just to ease it up. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to get to the electric board in the back, except doing this kind of... You either have to slice open this plastic, which isn't trivial either. But the only problem with this is you won't get that much access. Uh, so what I'm doing here gives you full access to the back. So this is maybe easier in the long run. And you can see when you do that, um, you can remove this piece. All right, so now we've removed one piece and these plastic things could remain. Let me show you what they look like. They kind of remain as, as pegs here. And that's okay, because the thing slips on it. You can always just do a glue over it of some sorts. But now the next part is to remove, uh, we have this one, this one, this one, and that one. So there's quite a bit. So I'm gonna take you off camera and just do that gently. All right, so now what you will notice is that um, I have all these uh, threads that have just come off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean that up, but I'm sure all these will um, will release the board. The whole point is just you wanna take off enough to release the board. I'm just removing these um, remaining portions of the drilled threads. And you could see that this starts to come out. Um, you see that this starts to come out here. There's play here. And you just wanna make sure you got all of them. And you would see that this thing starts moving. Now, you're gonna need to obviously try to keep your bench clean when you work on this. So in the end, I used a 3 16th of an inch. Um, it's just enough to remove the top portions. So now what you need to do is try to remove these clips. And these clips have some um, clips here. There are clips holding these and you want to just take them down. But the, the point is that you could see that this thing is already freely moving um, here. So, and this. So you're starting to release this um, from the back. The only thing is that it's held by several of these, the three clips.
Again, this is uh, not trivial, but we'll just have this one really. Maybe we'll start here. one all right so I think I got this out now the next thing you need to do all right this is coming off you just need to take this last one off that's good wow all right so now the last piece is gonna hopefully just come out of its place little pry tool here that I can get in there yeah all right just have to all right oh wow that's perfect now you can see that's the soldering job here and um, clearly there's somewhere a uh, lack of contact and I can't tell where. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to re-solder these pins, okay? All right. Well, when I looked at this, I realized that this coating meant that I had to remove it before I can re-solder these pins. But I don't know if they look corroded or not. I think that they might be okay, especially considering there is coating over it. This, um, I don't know what kind of, is it epoxy resin or some sort of lacquer of some sort. Uh, I just decided to leave it alone. Um, only the end, uh, the ones on the end were conducting and the ones in the middle were um, clearly insulated. So I would have to remove that coating before I can solder. I also tried to push on them to see if there's any play and I didn't find any so I decided I'll just leave those alone I'm not sure what's the best way to remove this coating material and I don't want to scrape it off and damage the connective uh, tracks underneath so I left it alone all right what I also tried to do is try to clean these um, these uh, holes with um, with this uh, razor here uh, just a exacto knife just that way you can sorry I can't get the focus yeah what you need to do is just clean it so that you don't have uh, some remaining uh, pieces of plastic all right so before I put this back together I decided to give this uh, one more cleaning with alcohol uh, this is a zebra connector I think that's the actual culprit of the whole problem so I um, Cleaned that, but also took it apart. Uh, so this is the screen that gives it the color that you are familiar with. So this is just the backdrop. And here you can see those pins, which I also gave them a little bit more cleaning. And that, I think, helped a little bit. Here you can see a close-up of the pins. Um, I cleaned them last time and I just did another sort of scraping the edge of them a little bit. Maybe that's not the best thing to do, uh, but it worked better this time. So every time it gives me a little bit more persistent working digits or pixels. And I think this is my third time opening this and hopefully the last time.
So I just put this back together. And you don't actually have to worry about the drilled pegs that you made because the thing snaps back together and the screws on the outer unit hold it all together. So I put it back, didn't have to re-solder and it seems to work okay. It only flickered for 10 seconds um, a couple times but for the most part it's 99% perfect so I think it was the uh, probably the zebra connector. And thank you for watching and thank you for those who helped me in the comments sections.